Nursing school is no joke, and it starts with the HESI A2 exam. Almost every nurse that you know has either taken the T's or the HESI A2, and it's kind of a rite of passage, but a lot of people don't do well on the HESI. And something I've learned in nursing school is that it's not based on smarts, it's based on your studying technique. And if you can get that right, you can pass the HESI A2 in no time. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Ashanti Felice. I'm a 23 year old mom, wife, and nursing student. And I was able to pass the HESI A2 in 10 days. Actually, my most viral video on this channel is telling you how I did that. But now that I'm in my last semester of nursing school, I wanna come back and tell you things that I wish I knew before taking the HESI. So let's get into it. Tip number one, before we talk about any of the sections on the, on the HESI, you gotta make sure that you mind your mentality when you're taking the HESI A2. Now, what do I mean by mind your mentality? mentality make sure that you're walking in confident and well nourished so that you're able to process the information on the HESI and do as well as you can you don't want to go in unsure of yourself and while we are going to talk about a couple of study techniques that I wish I knew beforehand you want to make sure that when using those study techniques and when using that information to study that you are studying until you feel confident feeling nervous feeling anxious Feeling unsure about the exam is one thing, and I think that's pretty normal, but you should feel sure about what you know, and you should study until you feel sure about what you know. Another thing that's easy to miss is breakfast. I am guilty of this. I'm guilty of skipping breakfast. Eating breakfast is a big deal, and people skip breakfast for multiple different reasons. Some skip it because it's just not enough time. They just don't have enough time to sit down and make a meal and eat. Others skip it because eating food sometimes can cause you to feel sleepy, and it can be heavy and you can feel tired going into the rest of your day right after you eat. So something I found that has helped me with that is Happy Bee and I want to thank Happy Bee for sponsoring this video. Happy Bee is a supplement company and I have fallen in love with their Deep Blow Plus Digest Supplement. We have secured yet another bag. Y'all know I have been in love, in love with Chipotle Chicken Club from Tropical Cafe. And y'all know as much as I love it, it's very high in calories. I also got a side of chips. We're getting into the thick of the semester. We got uh, an exam coming up with like four modules on it. And y'all know when I get into that mode, I'm like, I just need something quick to eat. Let's eat out. And I stopped caring as much about eating healthy. So I highly recommend Happy V. If you didn't know, Happy V is a supplement brand that specializes in supplements for your vaginal and gut health. I have fallen in love with their D Bloat Plus Digest supplements. It has over 23 enzymes in it and other ingredients like ginger and peppermint to aid in digestion is going to help you feel less heavy after you eat it's going to help you get your energy back i personally have felt that and that's what i love from it if you have not seen them please go check them out and use my code happy ashanti for 10 percent off at checkout okay i'm gonna go eat my food and then we'll get back into the next thing now to get into some of the things about studying. I get asked a lot. Y'all DM me on Instagram, y'all message me, y'all send me emails, and I absolutely love that y'all reach out and connect with me. So definitely keep doing it. I love talking to you guys. But something that I found is that right out of the gate, you're ready to study every single section on the HESI. Here is something that I want to tell you. You may not have to, okay? Whatever school that you're going to, or if you're deciding between multiple schools, make sure that you go to that school's website and you can see what they require to get into their nursing program. Because a lot of programs are not asking you to take all sections of the HESI. They may only want three or four. They may want you to have all of it, or some of them grade based on a certain scale. So for me, for example, with my school, I'm going to a community college here in Jacksonville, Florida, and my school only required you to take vocabulary, grammar, reading comprehension, and math. Can you imagine if I would have spent time studying biology and chemistry and a and and all this other stuff, and I didn't really need it? I would have wasted a lot of time and energy I could have spent on the topics at hand that were graded. In fact, to, to even drive the point home even more, I actually Christmas tree the other sections because they do not take it into consideration. So with that being said, let's get into a couple of tips and tricks that I wish I would have known before taking the HESI for specific subjects, starting with the vocabulary section. Please don't think it's going to be a walk in the park. Unless you are an avid reader and you're like Mrs. The, the stores herself, 
please do not assume that you're gonna walk in knowing medical jargon and that is not something you've done. Even if you're someone that's working in the healthcare field right now or you're constantly reading something, make sure that you touch up on vocabulary words that you don't use every day. Everybody has their own set of vocabulary words that they use on a regular basis, right? So make sure that you're going outside of your bubble to learn vocabulary. Something else about vocabulary that I find interesting and that many people don't know is that it's very cut and dry. Sometimes, and from what I remember when I took my HISI back in 2024, a lot of people don't know that just how cut and dry it is. They're gonna say, what does the word blah mean? And you're gonna be like, huh? You're not even gonna use it in a sentence? Sometimes they didn't. I remember getting words that I had just so happened to go over and study and getting them right because I had studied it, but they don't give you context. Making sure that you are familiar with prefixes, suffixes, and root words. If you can understand the different suffixes and prefixes and root words, then you can kind of help put words together. This is something I learned in high school when taking a Latin class because a lot of words are based on Latin prefixes and suffixes, especially in the medical field. So if you're a high school student and you're looking to start the nursing program soon, if you can, take a Latin class because it definitely helps. Um, but other than that, prefixes and suffix, suffixes definitely help as well. So a lot of times in the English language, there's a lot of words that use the same prefix, um, but they don't mean the same thing, but they kind of come from the same place. So if you can kind of understand that, you may come across a word that's unfamiliar to you, but you can get it based on prefixes, suffixes, things like that. So make sure you look into that as a study technique as well for the vocabulary section. My fourth tip is for the math section. Math is a big thing for for a lot of people because a lot of people don't care for math or math is not their strongest point and I've gotten that comment from a lot of you guys here's my tips for that that I wish I knew beforehand and it's that conversions matter please don't learn them just for the exam because I guarantee you it's gonna come up for your nursing program yeah you may pass the HESI but you still have to know the conversions so conversions are very important military time is very important why is military time important I have no clue but they ask you a lot of questions and they ask you to convert it into military time or they'll ask you to convert military time into regular time. So make sure that you know that and that you understand the different words they use to explain military time. Conversions become a bit of a second language when you start the nursing program and it seems very foreign in the beginning, but it really does become a part of you. Ounces and milligrams and grams is something that you're gonna hear every day in the nursing program damn near and it's something that you're going to need for your doses calculation exams again so make sure that you learn them to remember them not just for the HESI A2 because it's going to come back um I learned my doses I learned my conversions just for the HESI and forgot it and got into the nursing program a month or a few months later and had to relearn it all over so definitely don't do that my fifth tip goes for the reading portion please do not read the passage first I know that may sound crazy, I know, but for the reading comprehension portion, usually they give you the passage and then they give you one or two questions below it. Please read the question first. Read the question first. Now, why do I say that? If you read the passage first, you have no objective for what you're looking for. So you're just reading it and processing it however you feel like processing it. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate what you thought when you read it just as a normal consumer and what you should be thinking about as a test taker. So what I did for the reading comprehension part, I literally went in, skipped the passage, scrolled down and went to the question every time. Even if it was the same passage, I did not want to interpret it my way and then they asked me something of pick because you know the reading comprehension is almost opinion based so it's very easy to get tripped up so I didn't want to go in reading it my way and interpreting it my way and they were looking for something specific so every time they asked me a question I never went and read the passage for myself I would go read the question and go to the passage and search up the answer and while I got 89% so that lets you know what you need to know do not read the passage first. My last tip is for the grammar section. I know, I know we all speak English, but please brush up on very basic, like back to elementary first grade grammar. I recommend doing it because a lot of the questions that they ask you on the HESI is based on 
subject and verb and different clauses and things like that. Stuff you don't think about when you when you're sending a text message, right? They ask you different things like where different commas are, and they ask you like what's the difference between how you wrote this mailing address and this mailing address. And then one of them is gonna be wrong, and you need to know which one is wrong and which one is right. They ask you things like out of this sentence like what word is incorrect and you have to know you have to know so i definitely recommend brushing up on just really basic like foundational grammar i recommend going through and and, and brushing up on it because a lot of times the way that we speak the way that we speak and the way that we text which is the only type of like typing and writing we do a lot is informal and it's usually very culturally swayed and that is not grammatically correct so make sure you brush up on your grammar now to do all of this i know you're thinking like okay so where can i go to brush up on stuff for the hessy i absolutely recommend nurse hub in my original video that went viral i recommended nurse hub and i'm like y'all need to reach out to me because i genuinely appreciate nurse hub like it had everything that i needed on there and some people felt like maybe it wasn't as updated as it needed to be so y'all let me know but from my personal experience everything i needed was on there from the vocabulary to the grammar it was there so i definitely recommend nurse hub they give you a lot of different things that you can use and do to make sure that you learn and it breaks it down in sections so you don't have to do everything i also recommend checking your knowledge with things like quizlet but just beware um because you know quizlet is kind of like a little wikipedia ish so just make sure that you're on a trusted part of quizlet but definitely google things definitely go out of your go out of your way to make sure that you understand it and i think you'll be fine so with that being said, thanks so much for listening to these tips. I hope you do well on the Hesse. Make sure you comment your Hesse take date down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.